Okay, I'm in the, the brickyard, uh, we call this place, uh, because there was, um, well, way back, even before I was born, they were making bricks here. Of course, there's nothing here now. There was also a colliery here. And uh, this is just a nice place to walk now. The path coming along there from Pontiac's. And it goes out by there. You can either go back to Pontiac's or go up to Ponendry. A lot of people from Ponendry walk this way. And this is where I used to bring Joseph a lot when he was young. I enjoy walking here because it brings me happy memories of when I used to bring Joseph down here. And he loved going in the water here and throwing stones here. Uh, and, um, you know, even though I've got eight other grandchildren who I don't see, Joseph has made it up, made up for them all, you know, because he's been such good company. And of course, I'm not as healthy as I was now. I'm 70 and I got a bit of heart trouble. I've slowed down a lot. And even if I did see the other eight grandchildren now, I wouldn't be able to take them for walks and take them to the park and things like I did with Joseph. Because I used to take him everywhere. And of course, swimming. He loves swimming. And I love my walks here, thinking about the days when he was young. And I had a nice surprise. Uh, hang on, let me change my hand here now because I'm too old hand to film and it's getting, it's getting difficult with this heart problem, you see. The leg like Pete I got, the blood isn't circulating like it should. Makes me tired. Anyway, uh, I had a nice surprise Saturday because uh, he came down um, out of the blue uh, and, and, you know, been months since he came down, he's 16 now and he's six foot three, you know, and he's in college. And uh, his mother, Tracy, wanted him out of the way to have friends back and he came down out of the blue and he's got a 50 inch TV in the back bedroom with the Xbox and computer and he's been gathering dust, you see, the, he's not been coming down, but out of the blue he came down Saturday and he was great company and we had a good chat, you know, and uh, he, he, you know, he, 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 he was really great. It was a nice surprise for me. And of course I spoil him. I take him to McDonald's. On the way down, I take him to McDonald's. The way back, he wanted money for clothes. He wanted to buy, I gave him. Well, to be honest, I spent over £100 on him. With the money I gave him to get some clothes because he's going out weekend with his friends and he wanted, wanted this, so wanted. Well, I give him pocket money. I give him £40 a week pocket money anyway. Huh? And he's lucky that I don't see the other eight grandchildren. So, you know, I spoil him. But he's made up for it, you know what I mean? He's been such good company. And uh, I really enjoyed having him down weekend. Because, you see, the daughter likes her own space now and again. And uh, even though he's 16, and when he gets to 17, 18, she, she'll still want the house to herself now and again to have her friends there, you see? and want Joseph out of the way. So he's got his bedroom within my bungalow, you know, he's got his bed there, his, his 50 inch HD TV, and it's nice that he's able to come down and use them. Although, he, he's going to like my PlayStation 4, you see. And he, well, I, I, I went to bed at nine and I left him up, you know, he was up till gone one. And he didn't make any noise, I got to give it to him because if he made any noise, I'd send him to bed. But um, he was on my PlayStation then, playing the games, and of course my 15-inch TV is 4K, and I got Sky Q and all Netflix and all that. So he loves going on my TV then when I go to bed. Yeah, it was a nice surprise having him down. I was tempted to bring him here for a walk, you know, uh, but I had I wanted to take him here, take him there, you know, and. Uh, He's not one for walk, walks with me now, although he would have gladly come for a walk with me. He, he did ask me if I was taking him for a walk, but I, w I was so tired, uh, especially driving him to McDonald's. And, you know, it's, it's a, Armourford I find a long way from me now, but I'm trying for a bungalow to get nearer Armourford, because it's only uh, Joseph and Tracy I got really as a family, although my my uh, sisters live ne move nearby now. I see her a lot, and uh, you know, uh, she's 
live in, a, in Foslas in Kaway, not far from me, and she comes to clean for me and things if I want to, because I prefer to do things myself. As yet, anyway, I don't want to start depending on anyone. So anyway, I'll end this video now and put it on YouTube and uh, go back home now and have a nice little rest. <laughs>